Wow, the fall colors here are literally insane. I'm from Atlanta and Rachel's from Southern Indiana and we thought that we had experienced fall before but we have honestly never seen anything like the colors that we're seeing up here. They, the, the leaves are literally just like popping. Well, I should say they were because I shot that drone footage about a week and a half ago and now everything is completely dead. We actually just had our first snowfall of the season yesterday and I think it's, it's only like November the 8th. If you're new to this channel, we are Daniel and Rachel, and we left our jobs in August of 2018 to pursue working with an organization full-time called Heli Mission. And Heli Mission is a nonprofit that uses helicopters in some of the most remote and hard to reach areas of the world for purposes of disaster relief, for purposes of bringing in food and medical supplies and doctors and nurses, really just in, an, in a way to serve those in need in the neediest parts of the world. And so we packed up everything and we started this long process in August of 2018. And this whole channel is basically an effort to just share this crazy, exciting, exhilarating journey with all of you. In our first vlog, we mentioned that we're in a small town just about 30 minutes south of Rochester. And we're going through some cross-cultural training and we mentioned that uh, a little bit about where we had come from and where we are hoping to go. But I wanted to take the opportunity in this video to just elaborate a little bit more on that. There are a number of requirements that Heli Mission has for their pilots, and I'm gonna list four of them right here. So the first requirement, of course, is that you have to be a commercial helicopter pilot. And I was very blessed at a young age, as a teenager actually, to start flying helicopters. And that's actually what I've been doing professionally for about the past 15 years. So that requirement was met pretty early on. One of the other requirements is that you have to go through this course, what Heli Mission calls the Candidate Camp, at their headquarters about an hour outside of Zurich, Switzerland. And in 2017, Rachel and I flew to Switzerland and went through this camp. And what this camp is, is it's just for their future pilots to, and, and mechanics as well, to get to know uh, what it's like to be working with Heli Mission in the environments that they operate in. Everything from living cross-culturally to some of the challenges that you would expect to face, just in generally how to thrive in that type of environment. And what I love about it is they not only take you through that as a pilot, but they take you through that as a family and show you, okay, this is um, some of the things that the women are gonna be dealing with. This is, these are some of the things that the children are gonna be dealing with. And so they try to give you as broad of a view as possible to give you expectations on how to work again in that type of environment. And so that's when we met this requirement on this part of the checklist. The third requirement that Heli Mission has for their pilots is that you be a licensed aircraft mechanic. And up until about a year and a half ago, I pretty much could be described as not having a mechanical bone in my body. And so that was actually the first step when we left our jobs that we did. We moved to Lynchburg, Virginia and went through Liberty University's Aircraft Maintenance Technician Program in their School of Aeronautics. And it was a one-year program. Most of these programs are two years, but Liberty has this program all consolidated down into a year. And honestly, it was the longest year of my life because it was Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And it was a lot of work. But at the end of the year, I had my airframe and power plant license, which is what you need to be a licensed aircraft mechanic and so at the end of that year we checked off that requirement on our checklist and so the fourth requirement is to go through the cross-cultural training which actually brings us to where we are 
right now. So in a previous video, I had the opportunity to sit down with a former pilot and mechanic for Heli Mission named Tom Hans. And one of the questions that I asked him was, what is it that sets Heli Mission apart from say other organizations or other operations that do similar type of work overseas? And one of the things that he said that really stood out to me is that you can go be a jungle pilot, you can go be a, a bush pilot anywhere. But what sell, it sets Heli Mission apart is the way that they love the people. In order to work for Heli Mission, you have to love the people that you're working with. And so that's one of the things that I really appreciate about Heli Mission is they send us to this cross-cultural training so that we can understand not only how to serve these people by bringing in food and medical supplies and so on, but how to really empathize with them. And so we're currently in this training program right now where we're taking courses like uh, customs and cultures and world religions just to learn the background of the people that we're gonna be serving overseas. And one of the things that's nice is the, the settings are pretty small because the classes are not very big and it's uh, in a rural setting and so we're getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with our instructors and our instructors as well. One of the things that's really cool is all of them generally come from some sort of background where they've done, not necessarily with heli mission, but they've done work similar to what we're gonna be doing overseas. One guy I think worked in China for a number of years, another guy uh, worked in Uganda and a lot of these people um, just have a heart for what for the same type of work that we're going to be going to do. And so back to this four-step process, this all started when I was 23 and I'm 32 now. And it's crazy to think that Rachel and I are almost done with this preparation process. This whole cross-cultural training is going to wrap up uh, in about a month. And then we're going to have about a two and a half month gap period between middle of December and beginning of March where we'll split our time between Atlanta, Georgia, Evansville, Indiana, and then we're going to do a fundraising trip down to Florida. And after that, we're actually going to move to Switzerland for six months. And what we'll be doing there is I'll be doing some work as a helicopter mechanic with Heli Mission to kind of get some hands-on experience on the exact helicopters that I'll be working on overseas. And from there, it's either Africa or Asia. As we said in the first video, that's kind of vague, I realize. But when we know more information, we'll definitely relay that to you. And so, yeah, I hope this video gives a little bit more information on where we've come from and what we're looking forward to, as well as what this vision of ours is. And we're honestly really excited to share in this with you. So thanks again for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you'd like to follow us in this journey, please hit the subscribe button below. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links to both are in the description. Flight by Faith is 100% donor supported. If you would like to partner with us in this endeavor, please go to flybyfaith.org give.